My name is Emil Penno. I'm game designer on Deus Ex Human Revolution, Director Scott. So what's the new news you can give us about Deus Ex? Well, the big news this week is that as per uh, community requests, we are going to release the uh, Director's Cut on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PC and Mac, along with all the dual screen experience. Awesome! And what can you tell us about the uh, plot of this game? Well, Deus Ex is, uh, is in 2027, it's a time of chaos and conspiracy. You play as Adam Jensen, you get fatally wounded at some point in the game, you get augmented against your will, and you set out on a path through, uh, of revenge and to find the truth. So Deus Ex is a big game, it's all about multi-path, multi-choice. Uh, you have four main pillars of gameplay, combat, stealth, hacking, and social and uh, nothing in the game is forced upon you. You can always get around, find secret passage, and uh, some solution to uh, achieve your goal the way you want to you do. And as a designer, um, what kind of inspiration did you take for the art of this game? The art of the game, that was a big thing. You, you'd probably better be uh, watching the making of video, which is actually in the director's cut. We cover uh, a lot of that. But um, JJB, the uh, production designer on Juice Promotion, did an amazing work. I know it's kind of like Victorian style, modern, with like, it's amazing. <laughs> the art style is just very unique. What are some of the special functionalities of the game? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> I mean, you cannot cover the, uh, the whole. The whole game feature that Deus Ex uh, offers in a, in a single interview, there's so much. Um, if we go quickly actually around the new feature though, uh, you'll have like the possibility to draw on your map and then follow your path on your radar is going to update in real time. You have like a grenade throwback mechanics, that's new. You have some augmentation that allow you to see through wall and with, uh, we have a new augmentation now which allows you to see more data about your enemies or their health. Their, uh, the loot occurring on him, their armor type, so all tools that let you plan in advance who like not to get too close to and who's going to be your target, which one you, you need to take down to take his item or stuff like that. Um, and all augmentation just allows you to, to achieve this big branch of gameplay, so cloaking, uh, full frontal assault, uh, some augmentation that let you perceive emotion through people you talk to so you better know how to deal with them stuff like that. There's so much to do. You just need to dig into it and see it for yourself. Well, can you tell us about the weapon system of the game? The weapon system. So we have the inventory which allows you to carry well, all your, your gear. We have some explosives so like uh, mine, actually it's mine templates and then you have your grenade. You have different type of grenade like concussion, uh, frag grenade, gas grenade, EMP and then you can combine them with mine templates to create mine of that same type. And then we have a lot of weapon, goes from like simple pistols, sniper rifle, grenade launcher. And you have this whole system of weapon upgrades. So you have like for damage upgrade, rate of fire, reload speed, and some special and unique upgrade for each weapon. So like silencer, laser targeting system. So all of that you can choose which weapon you want to upgrade, which one fits better to your play style, and you're going to boost that weapon. Awesome. And do you have any, any advice for gamers who are just coming into the game as far as strategy uh, goes? My advice is pick it. <laughs> Deus Ex was already uh, a, an amazingly critically successful game at the start and now with the director's cut we just pushed back the boundaries of what we can deliver in terms of that experience. And for new and old gamers you'll have this amazing experience with it. Uh, we have enough stuff to bring players already played back into the game either for the new game plus the new boss fight a new narrative line with the extended uh, missing link or DLC in there um, the developers commentary which the dev can talk to you about some feature stories while making the game for over eight hours worth of those and it's a it's a really nice game that lets you play like you want so if you like freedom in a very rich story driven game do sex is for you